Hey guys, it is it's happening with Snooki and Joey. Kahomi, Kahomi. Um, I look oh, uh, the show. If you're watching this on YouTube, I look like I'm in a confessional. You do. I look like I just got out of prison, so that's that. Is someone at your door? People are getting my pool done. So I have a ton of people coming in and out, trying to get my backyard done, landscaping, all the shit. It's like chaos at my house. So, you know, hopefully my backyard will be done in time for spooky season. Oh my God. You know, I want to hide. I want to have ghosties in the pool. Um, I know. Welcome to the show, ladies. Everyone, horror messy mama. Welcome to the show. I'm eating an applesauce. Organic applesauce from Kirkland. It's only 45 calories. I see those. My snack of the week, we're starting off strong. Has I found these at work today. It's only 45 calories and it is gluten-free. It's organic applesauce from Kirkland. My new snack of the week. I see those in high school. Mm, so satisfying. I do have to say. Um, welcome to the show. Happy Friday. I am so excited because I'm finally, and I'm making this, I'm making this um, like a yearly thing. Oh, good. What's it? Is it called yearly? Like an annual. Annual, it's yeah. It's going to be an annual festivity, bitch. I am having all my girlfriends over this weekend at my shore house, and it's going to be a girls' weekend. So basically, just, you know, everyone come that day, and then we'll hang out all that day. And then at night, we're going to do hibachi. And then, you know, you go home the next day. It's fine. But, I mean, one day and night to, like, be with my girlfriends and, like, have fun, drink. Not worry about the kids or Rocky. Rocky, I love you. But, you know, just like. Rocky's not going to be there. Enjoy relaxing. Like, I can't freaking wait. <laughs> Rocky's not coming? No, Rocky's not coming. Mm. I don't, I literally don't want to take care of anyone. Like, I don't want to take care of any person with a soul. I just want to enjoy myself and relax yeah, and yeah. have a good time. So, Joey's coming. I'm coming. And, and all my besties from high school. Um, Gina's coming from the Snooki shop, so it's gonna be like a nice girls' weekend. So get ready for the stories, bitch. Is Gianni gonna stay for the weekend, or he's going home on Saturday? Oh, Gianni's not gonna be there. I, was, I thought he's not on the boat. He's he's contemplating if he's gonna do it or not because he has to golf. So well, I, I don't know how to drive it. Ever, so if everyone comes early, then we can go. But like, can you can you come early? Yeah. Why don't you come to my house and we'll drive together? I can even do that. Because I have to get home somehow. I was going to rent a car. That's the thing. No. You can just come back with me, and then you can get an Uber from my house. You're coming back Sunday morning? Sunday well, Yeah, but not like 7 a.m. No, it's Sunday you're coming home. Yeah, Sunday. Oh, good. Then I'll save on money for the car. So I think um, me and... I think yeah. So what I decided is we're going to do a sh charcuterie board party, oh, which if you, guys watch, if you guys watched last night's episode... The, we did a charcuterie girl party. Um, so everyone brought their own board. So like I made, you know, the regular like cheese and meats and everything. Dina brought in a pizza board. So it was like all pizzas, mozzarella sticks, like so delicious. Where'd Jenny brought a tequila board. So she brought like tacos with tequila shots. Um, and then I feel like Sam did dessert or something. It was like a nice dessert board. But I I, I got my idea from that because I thought it was amazing. Um, it was a little... That charcuterie board party was not great because we were all fighting with each other. It wasn't great. But this charcuterie board party is going to be amazing. And what are you going to make? Okay, that's what I'm confused about. Now let's go through the thing. And everyone's going to bring it for ready. So we're going to eat this like when we're swimming and stuff. This is when we're eating that? Well, yeah, because I felt like I didn't want to like go crazy with the food because I'm only there for one day and I already cleaned up the house. So I'm like, everyone bring in their own board. We'll nibble on that all day. If I have to like order you know, pizza or whatever, I will. And then we're going to have a huge hibachi party at night. Yeah, let's we're, not gonna be, we're not going to be eating. So we don't have to go crazy. I'm, not, I'm yeah. not trying to make this house dirty. I already cleaned it. Um, so are you going to be the oven on at all? Or no, could things be warmed up? What, the charcuterie board? No, not charcuterie, but say, say someone brings something that needs to be warmed up. We can warm it up, right? Oh, yeah. We can, yes, they have an oven, bitch. I know. It's a fancy house. <laughs> Everyone else is like, going to bring so far. I'm going to see what's not what people don't have already. Can you write in the group chat and say, what is everyone bringing for their board? I'm going to write So it I would like I'll everyone to do board. Not everybody has to do one, but I'm going to do the regular cheese and meats. Like my, my go-to with the, uh, with the grapes and the plums and every, I'm doing that. So I'll do just like the, the snack board of the cheese and meats and crackers. All right. I'm going to text the group now. Here it is right here. Hold on. And don't bring caviar, bitch. 
Because you're a Hamptons, you're a Hamptons girl now. I don't want caviar. I want yummy, fat food. Roll call. What board is everybody bringing? Question mark. So we're gonna do that, and then at night, um, I got this for my sister in law. It's they're called Tabachi to You on Instagram. And basically, like, a ton of people do it now, but you get hibachi brought to your backyard so you don't have to go to, like, you know, Benihana's. So we got to set up the table at night, and the guy comes. He brings a ton of sake, so we really can't drink a lot during the day because when this happened, I was drinking all day. And then at night, before they came, I had two glasses of wine. And then with the sake, I, I blacked out. I didn't know what was happening. I woke up, and I'm like, oh. Where so am I? So he's going to bring a lot of sake, bitch. Can he just text back? Do you want to read what she wrote? Yeah. I said, roll call. What's every, what board is everybody bringing? Jenny was. Oh, yeah. Jenny, Jenny doesn't like that stuff. I already told her she doesn't have to bring a board. She's going to bring tequila instead. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. So I decided during the day, we're going to drink Messy Mama. I, <laughs> I, I bought like 10 bottles each. So Make I have sure. uh, 10 bottles of Rowdy Rosé and um, Rowdy Rosé and Raunchy Bread. So we're good with wine and everything. And then I really want to drink the cut water because I'm obsessed. I'm going to get a ton. Hashtag cut water. Maybe the community sponsor over here. No, you're going to like what you say. It's really good. So I'm going to do that and then, you know, get some high noons and everything. But I feel like we're all set. We're going to be, we're going to have a blast. It's going to be the best. Um. The group chat's already going down. Kirsten side texting. Her. Oh shit. Kirsten side texting. Oh, <gasps> stop. She goes, who's the 516 number? So I'm excited for this as well. I'm gonna be um on my best behavior. Yeah, okay. I'm only kidding. Okay, mamas, burnt your last piece of toast. Did your avocados go bad? Or is the hot sauce bottle empty? You got to try grocery delivery from DoorDash. You'll get everything you want delivered when you need it right to your door. And Joey, you know me. I, I'm, I'm not going to run to like the grocery store to get two things. I'm going to go on DoorDash and I'm going to do a grocery list. And I'm going to get more than two things because I know I want more. But I'm not I'm not the type, especially with three kids, to be like, oh, you know, I forgot something. I need to run to the store. No, I'm DoorDashing it. It comes right to my door and I'm staying in my pajamas on my couch with no bra on. Never leave my house. I hate leaving the house, especially to have to lug things back home in the city. You have to walk everywhere and drag your stuff. Um, that's why if you um, need groceries um, for the week, but don't have the time to go to the store, you don't want to go to the store, try grocery delivery from DoorDash. You'll get everything you want it delivered when you need it right to your door. And we've always trusted DoorDash to deliver from the restaurants we love when we want pizza or we want tacos or you know Chinese food or anything like that. Now you can get grocery delivery that actually delivers too. With thousands of grocery stores to choose from, you'll find the best in your neighborhood and boost your local economy with each and every order. You'll get exactly what you ordered or they'll make it right. So sit back and enjoy quality groceries that's just like you picked them yourself. They're going to pick out the best apples, the best produce, so you'll never get anything with brown spots on it. You're going to get all the freshest produce. Yes, Mama. So you can get 50% off your first DoorDash order up to $20 value when you use code SNOOKYFALL at checkout. Limited time offer in terms apply. That's 50% off up to $20, no minimum subtotal, and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code SNOOKYFALL. Don't forget, that's code SNOOKYFALL for 50% off your first order with DoorDash. I'm at work right now. There's people screaming all over work today. I've been going through it today. So the first, today's the first day that they came to see my apartment. Cause I, I just, I had to quit my apartment and so I'm, I've been, I'm working with a realtor now. Amanda, yeah, who is that girl? And did Amanda you get Baum. Oh my God. She's major. She, um, she's a great New York city realtor, a high profile one. She worked, How'd you get her? She, she emailed me. She's a crusader and she emailed me. I knew it. She said, oh, my God, I would love to represent you. And, you know, we'll work out the whole thing. And she goes, I work with a lot of reality stars and, and celebrities. So Does she know you don't want to pay her? <laughs> oh, yeah, she knows. She's doing it for promotions. But then also she's working every every place you go to. She's wheeling and dealing with these businesses. And they want me to like they want to like do influencer scams with me. They want me to live there and just promote for like the building and like say things for like for, like thousands of dollars off the house. And she's wheeling and dealing with these people. She is like a like a, a bull. Oh, so you're going to get a discount on your rent, bitch. She's getting a, she's like a bulldog in heels. She goes in there. and Ooh, she's See, like, that's why I told you, you need somebody. You can't do this by yourself. I know. She, I'm so happy. And even though you don't want to pay her, you should really get her something. No, I'm going to do nice things. But she, she's wheeling. Yeah. You know, like she goes in there, she goes, no, 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 we're not paying that. She's like a pushy Jewish mom. And she's like going in there saying, she's like, no, we're not doing this. She goes, I'm going to get it down. I'll get the price down. I'm going to have them throw in the new floors. I'll have them do this. And she's like working it out. 
So we've got oh, she's a boss bitch. I love very it. good. Yeah, she's from the Corcoran group. Uh, you know, you know, Shark Tank bar. Can she get me an apartment in the city? Yes, she would love to. Um, she's a bulldog. I'll give you her number. So I'm so excited. Yeah. To look at this place. But the first time the person had to come to my house today to look at it. Um, did you clean it? Oh God, the ladies were there. Yeah, it looks beautiful. So they and went. Did in. you put your penis away and your vagina? I did. I made sure that everything was gone. So okay, I, good. I watched him through the camera. He walked in. And I was like, "Hello." I was like, "You feel free to go in." No, oh, you didn't. I was rain cam. He goes, "Thank you, Joey." So now they want to Rocky. See I didn't know they had to watch your apartment. Let me, let's see when they want to come to my house. You're going to die. To show this, we will begin showing your apartment to prospective tenants tomorrow. All showings are accompanied by an LC Lemley officer employee who can give you a call the following day to confirm that you have appointments. Okay, this is scheduled as follows. Friday, 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. I got to be out of the house. Saturday, 11.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. I won't be there. Monday, 5 to 6. Wednesday, 5 to 6. Thursday, 5 to 6. Friday, 5 to 6. So what am I going to do? Oh. What am I going to do from 5 to 6 every day? Like, I can't be there because I'm a celebrity. And like, what if like... Go to the gym. You've been going to Equinox. Go to the gym. I guess so. You can walk the treadmill for an hour. That's a good idea. Uh, can I just complain to you about Rocky before I forget? I'd be honored. He fucking ran away yesterday for an hour. And I went on the golf cart and I was yeah. up and down the road, screaming Rocky on the top of my lungs and hysterically crying. And Giovanna was like, it's okay, mom. And it was about to get dark. And I'm like, no, if we don't find him before it gets dark, he's going to get eaten by a coyote. He's going to get run over yeah. somewhere. I literally thought I lost like my baby. And we finally found him. Where was he? And I banked him. He he was um, on Cherokee Lane. <laughs> he Nothing was going to happen on Cherokee Lane. <laughs> I was like, fuck you, Cherokee Lane. So he was over there, um, and my neighbors found him. So I have to, like, you know, I'm going to bring the messy mama. To be like, Thank you. Um, but I ended up buying him an air tag. So okay. I put an air tag on his collar, and I'm like, Gianni, you have to keep his fucking collar on because he always takes it off. Like, you have to leave it on because if he sees the door open, he's going to go. So then I can follow him on the freaking GPS and know exactly where he's going. So this name tag say your name and address on it or say, like, at least your phone number? Yeah. Yeah, but if he doesn't wear his collar, it's not – he's naked. He has nothing on. That's terrifying. Yeah, he, so he always has to wear it. I tell Gianni, he always takes it off because he's like, oh, it's heavy on him. I'm like, you didn't even want the dog to begin with. And now he's like washing his paws. He's like wiping his mouth. I'm like, oh, you're obsessed with him. But yeah, he ran away. So the cops, the cops came. The cops came again. The cops came and said, here's your dog. I'm like, oh, my God. These cops probably think I'm a freaking mess. So they call. So the, the company called the, called the cops that we found this dog. Um, my neighbors called the cops and said, I have this dog. I'm not sure who it is. And then I guess she heard, she heard my kids screaming Rocky up and down the road. Yeah. I had all the kids in the block. I had all the kids on the little scooters and bikes screaming Rocky. Hey, wait. It was like a national emergency. I almost called um, HSN so they can put an alert out. <laughs> in the Home Shopping Network? Amber Alert. Uh, it's your going. Oh, my God. So I found it. Rocky, come here. Let's just show him. Okay. And everybody, everyone yell at him. He's a bad dog. See him. Rocky. Stop. Rocky. You run away. Rocky, look. Yes. Look at Joey. Huh? Look at Joey. No, you can't run away. It's bad girl. Bad boy. Were you being bad? You're bad. <gasps> Weren't you scared, Rocky? He said, yeah. He said it was terrifying. Bad Rocky. I love him so much. Oh, so once I realized I'm never going to see him again, I realized how much I freaking love this dog. How much? When is 45 plus 45? Who? 45 plus 45. 60? Yeah. 60 calories. Is it? Oh. I'm doing my fitness pal. 90. <laughs> well, 90. 90. A 90 calorie snack's not bad. This was very good. I had yeah. I'm, I'm not good with math. I'm asking my bullshit. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat on Saturday. If someone's like, what's 24 plus 30? I don't freaking know, freak. Yeah. That's why we have calculators. All right, continue. I'm gonna behave this um today and tomorrow, but Saturday all bets are off. I'm eating like a pig. I'm eating the rice at hibachi. I'm eating whatever pizza we have. Oh, what well, are we yeah. Let's read the group chat. What people are bringing? Here we go. Someone so I, oh, oh my God, I want to talk about last week that you missed. Last weekend, I had the Renegades. Um, It got rained out, but like we filmed it. It was so much fun. And then we slept at Kears. Bitch, we went to Mansion. 
I got money or like this. So Mansion is like a strip club by my friend's house out that I grew up at. It's also a steakhouse. Um, so we went to Mansion. Lovely place. But they got new owners. They wouldn't let you vape in there. He's like, if you keep vaping, uh, we're going to kick you out. And I'm like, do you, you last can't vape at a strip club? No, they did that to you last time. And I had to keep covering for you. And then we kept yelling at me. I kept going. And then I went into the couch. I went to the cushions. Right now, so I, was- I made it work. But uh, we went to Mansion. And then... We woke up and we were just like bullshitting in Kira's, uh, my friend's kitchen. And I'm like, this is the next day, Saturday. And I told Gianni I'll be home so you can go golf. Guess what time I got home? Nine o'clock at night. Nine o'clock at night. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm so sorry. Oh, but like, God. Steph stayed out too. And she has kids because it it's my best friend Steph's birthday. So we ended up going to Bricks. And then we had drinks and whatever. So it's been a day. So... I told myself I'm not going to drink until this girl's weekend. And I really, really wanted a glass of wine last night because my kids were testing me and I was just pissed and I was doing laundry. And I was like, you know what? I just want a glass of wine. But I didn't. I'm so proud of myself. I'm going to not drink until that day either. All right, Mama. So, you know, me and Joey are obsessed with like laying down. We're obsessed with our bed. So whether you're in your bed working on your laptop, you're relaxing, you're binging shows like we do. It's gotten so much better with our Buffy bedding, mamas. So you know I'm a hot sleeper. I sleep with the air conditioning on full blast all through the winter as well. Window open or the fan on. Um, and, that, and it doesn't stop there. I, now I can't just have sh- sheets. I can't have like, you know, heavy sheets that are too hot. So that's why I love Buffy because Buffy has Earth's softest bedding and the breeze sheets set by Buffy are the softest sheets you'll ever try. It's woven from eucalyptus, making it softer than cotton or linen and you sleep cooler. The fabric's made from eucalyptus which is naturally cooling to the touch. Research and back to be more breathable than cotton or linen and perfect for hot sleepers like me with all natural botanical dyes your skin safe and better for the planet. Literally, these sheets are so silky soft. Like I feel like I'm sleeping in the most expensive nightgown of my life. It is silky and cool to the touch. It's like, you know, when you go to a hotel, hotel bed and like you get into it and you sliver into the sheets and it's like the coziest, comfiest thing. That's how I feel when I go into this bed. I feel like so expensive and cozy. Yes. sleep so good. I don't know more like tossing and with my pillowcases because the pillows cases are have that cooling eucalyptus to them. So they're very refreshing. They come in beautiful colors. I got the, um, I got two colors. I got classic white and then I got this light gray color. And I have, I have, a new, I have the one on my bed now, but I also put two more extra packs. We've got this deal that I'm saving for when I move into my new apartment. I'm not opening them until I get. Oh this. yeah, cozy. You want a nice fresh package? My first new, my, my first sleep in the new house is gonna be with Buffy sheets, and I'm going to get uh, yes, get, and my new life started. So you have to try these. No, and I actually got a set for Giovanna because she loves being cozy as well in her bed, and I think they're just so gorgeous and beautiful. And Giovanna actually. Um, I feel like she sweats in her sleep too, but she loves to be cold and cozy. So I got her a set and she loves it. So you guys have to try it out. We are obsessed with it. You know, we don't mess around when it comes to our bed. And if you guys don't love your Buffy sheets, there's a 50 night return policy on all the orders with free shipping on returns and no return fees. And we have a deal for them, Joey. Shout it out. If you want to upgrade your bedding with the Breeze Sheet set by Buffy, go to Buffy.co and use code Snooky for 25% off your first order. That's Buffy.co, promo code Snooky for 25% off your first order. Buffy.co and enter code Snooky. You get 25% off. Sleep in your sexy sheets now with Buffy Mamas. <gasps> How was the wedding? Oh, the wedding was fine. It was just regular drink. <laughs> it's like, as the place for you, the food was fine. It was, you know, regular run of the mill, very nice wedding. Uh, but, you know, I don't, Unless I really know the people. I, I mean, I had fun with everyone, but it wasn't, it was, you know, it was fine. But I ended up coming back to the city and hanging out with my my friends from The Bachelor, whiling out till six in the morning. Mm-hmm. So I was with um, Pilot Pete. I was with um, Jason Tatrick. I was with um, my friend Blake from the, from the, um, from Love is, oh no, from The Bachelor. Um, all my friends were from The Bachelor. So I was hanging out with them. And then um, I real turned up the other day. I was hanging out at Leah's house after I went apartment hunting. I was stressed out. Um, I was stressing all day, so I had to had to blow some steam off. So I Are you decided- stressed about apartment hunting or something else? Something else. Um, <laughs> so I just started drink binge drinking, and I you know then I went home. And I was I was chain vaping on the couch till like four like two in the morning, texting everyone, talking people, gossiping and stuff. So then I you know, woke up hungover. Um, and I've, I'm still reeking the bag of the hangover. I slept all day yesterday, and then now I'm like today I'm still like. Sure. Well, you know what? I swear to God, I had COVID last week because it was two last Tuesday. I like I felt, you know, like when you feel really tired, but like you don't feel normal. Run down. Yeah, but like I shouldn't have been run down. There's nothing to be run down about. I'm just doing like a normal mom things. So I felt gross, and then I 
started to get diarrhea. So I was like, oh, that's weird because I only get that if I binge drink and I wasn't. So I'm like, weird. Um, and then uh, uh, Wednesday, I slept all day. It was like weird. And then Thursday, I slept half the day. And then I just, my head hurt. I just felt freaking weird. I felt off. And then I had to do Renegades and I still felt like shit. But, you know, I was like, you know what? I got to perform. We're filming. I got to do this. So I was drinking radios at mommy's house. Me and mommy uh, drank two bottles. And I was like, all right, I feel better. Um, but then I just, I started to feel like shit again. And I had the sweats. I had the chills and I had the sweats Tuesday to Friday. So bitch, I think I had COVID again. Yeah, I had it just last week. Got it it's going around again. Everyone's saying that they're dropping COVID from the planes into the, into the air. Because how does it all of a sudden come up again? I just don't understand it. People start. Becoming- they, 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 they say it's the change in the weather, bitch. It's still 95 degrees out. I don't get it. New flavor COVID, though. It's, it's a new and improved COVID, if you will. It's well, now- you know what? I don't want it because it made me feel depressed and sad and tired. And I didn't like it. I think I have to go to the bathroom, too. Um, yeah, it's going around again. But you know I'm thankful for? I got an email. So um, I we're working together. I got hired again. Oh, for the reunion. Yeah, so I'm doing you and Dina's hair and makeup. God. Email that we don't have to get COVID tested this time. So I said, that means you're not going to have to wear those. No, fucking- yeah, they don't do that anymore. We still but- have to wear masks. No, I don't think so. I think it's over. I'm not excited for the reunion. I don't know what's happening in this season. We don't see any episodes. Last reunion was a freaking shit show because we thought we were fine with Angelina and then she attacked us. And I can't do that again. <laughs> like, I Am mentally I- can't do that. And then we're filming an AC the next day and then Seaside. Oh. So we're filming the next three days after the reunion. I'm dead. I'm dead. I I'm quit. I quit. Hard. And just in case someone tries to bite me. Um, I just, I can't. So I'm doing, yeah, so I'm doing, like, I've got an all new makeup today for you and Diener. Um, You're going to love it. I got a new blow dry, a new hair accessory. Shark Ninja. You know a blow dryer, the Shark Ninja? It, has, it blows, it goes sloop, and it blows your hair into a circle. Mm-hmm. That from Shark Ninja. Um, I got a new Yeah, hat. I think I want way, uh, curly hair, but I want it, like, big. Oh, I got it. I got that special spray. Yeah, like a bouncy, like, curly hair. Up how the new matte eyeshadow palette. Um, I got this new, I'm wearing it right now. It's a little shimmer for the lid, see it? Drama. Pretty? Yeah. Shimmer for the lid. I got that from um, Urban Decay. Um, so I got all new. So I always like to get new things. Oh, I got Gucci lipstick for you. Ooh. Um, um, I like to bring new things, especially for my queens, for my for my meatball queens. Um, Are you so- listening to the meatball pod? I listen every week. I wouldn't miss it. <laughs> no, you don't. Actually, we were supposed to go to the studio not- this week. We were supposed to go to the studio this week, but I had stuff with Angela at school. We did our first Zoom yesterday. Oh. Yeah, so it wasn't bad. Now I'm like, okay, I don't think we have to go in every time. Wait, I want to talk about shows real quick. Okay. I have been binging the show for the last four days. It has like four, three seasons. The fourth season is coming out in November, like near my birthday. Bitch, if you, if you have Apple TV, For All Mankind. It's called For All Mankind. And that. For all over that, for all mankind. So I didn't think that I was going to love it, but like I needed a new show and I'm watching Invasion, but it comes out like every, every, um, every week. So like I have to wait and I'm, I'm annoyed. Like I need something to binge at night. Like that's my time when the kids go down and everything. Like that's my time to watch, watch, watch some shit and binge. What? So I found for all mankind and it's an astronaut movie about NASA and they're going to the moon and they go to Mars, but there's so much going on in between that and the drama and everything. And the fact that I loved it just means it's an incredible freaking show, you guys. And I cried. I laughed. I was hysterically bawling. It's a fucking good show. And all the actors all over that, the actors and actresses are beautiful. Um, and can I can I do one spoiler that I was bawling my eyes out? Well, is it in the first episode? No, it's the last. Oh, should I? Is it, should I watch? Yeah, it? I can't tell you. Oh, I'll, you know what? I'll close my ears. Hit it. Are you gonna watch it? I might if it's good. I'm yeah. not gonna say it. Um, but just like every storyline is beautiful, and then when people die, it's just like really upsetting, and oh, it's so beautiful. I think you would really like it. Like Last of Us with astronaut flavored. Yeah, kinda. Because that's what I, I love. Once I once watched that show, once I watched episode three, of the gay version that of Last of Us, I was hooked, and I love that show now. Yeah, but I want that whole show to be them, 
Like Maybe. that was the best episode by far. Um, so try for all mankind. So good. And I binged four, uh, four seasons in like two days. I ignored my husband. He was so annoyed at me. He's like, you're not even looking at me. And I was like this, like the whole time. Um, so yeah, for all mankind, you bitches have to watch it. What are you watching? Okay, well, I haven't started watching it yet, but I'm so fucking excited. And this is this is a surprise to me. I haven't seen it advertised anywhere. I saw it on my friend from my friend Diago from Equinox. He was said put on a story. Diago, I, I don't know any of your friends now. So annoying. Diago, the, the manager of Equinox. He's been at our show. He he gave me a lap dance on stage once with you. Oh, that's his name, Diago. And him. Anyway, so my favorite show ever. I've been waiting for probably three years for it to come back. It's I think before the pandemic it was out. It's on Netflix. It's my favorite show ever. And it's coming back for season two this week. Guess what it's called? What? Nurse Ratchet. <gasps> Bitch, I, I totally forgot what the fuck happened. This is what I hate about these shows. They take two years to make and then you totally forget what happened. That's how they get you. Let me see when it comes out. I'm, if it's no, not, I forgot what happened. Rocky? Yeah. If it comes out today, I'm running and hanging up. All right, Mama. So you know it's a busy time of year. Summer's over. The kids are back to school. So meaning I'm running around for the kids while they're back in school. And then I have to pick them up. We're going to sports here and there. And I'm thinking I have the full day to myself. But then I realized, oh, my God, it's already two o'clock. I have to go grab them. I was cleaning the house, grocery shopping, all that stuff. So literally, I feel like the time just flies by. And I always make time to go on my Peloton. You guys know I always do stories in my Peloton. So I always try and make time and literally whether you have five minutes or 25 minutes, whether you're going on a jog or, you know, you could do strength training. Um, the Peloton app has it all. Thank God for the Peloton app, because even even when I'm not home and say I'm at my friend's house and, you know, I have like, you know, 10, 20 minutes to kill. I can go on my app and I can do a body strength class, which literally means you don't need any equipment and you just like use your body weight to stretch and get a quick workout in and you're going to sweat and you're going to feel something. So the Peloton app literally saves my life when it comes to trying to get quick workouts in. I love it because I can't, I, can, I live in New York City. Everything's tiny. I don't have room for the lux luxuries to have the um, Peloton tread or bike in my house, but I have a Peloton app and I can do that on my iPad or my TV anywhere I want. And I can do my workouts at home. I can bring my, my phone to the park and do it in the park. I can do it at anywhere I am right now. I can do it at work if I needed to. But I like it because it keeps me on track when I don't feel like going all the way to the gym or I just know I got to get that work in, but I don't have a lot of time. I can just put the app on and do it. But I like the boxing classes. Um, I love it. All the instructors are great. Um, there's all different kind of full body workouts. I can do to kind of get everything done where you're just doing squats and lunges and all this wild stuff. And I can do it right from the pri privacy of my home. And I don't even have to wear clothes if I don't want to. So you guys got to try the Peloton app today for free for 30 days. New paid members only starting at $12.99 per month after trial unless canceled. Terms apply. You guys are going to like the Peloton app. Mom. Nurse Ratchet. Oh, Nurse Ratchet. I love it. So it stars. Um, Fucking get my hair. What's her name? Krakumi. What's her name? Nurse Ratchet's name? Um so, yeah. so and Boyle? Ball Paul Chris uh Are we finding out together? I know who. Sarah Paulson. Paulson, yeah. Okay. I said Paul. Ratchet two. It. Season two. When does it come out? Ratchet season two date release date no second seventies nurse ratchet be back in the hit next series I think you need to know release date okay then fucking tell me the date bitch I'm getting the I'm getting the tea mamas the tea it was in twenty so it debuted in twenty twenty with forty eight millions of house forty eight million household watchers it's coming out September oh come on you fucks my god. Okay, hold on a second. While he's looking it up, if you guys are in Beacon, New York, in the Hudson Valley, I am closing the Snooki Shop. It's over and done with on Sunday at 4 p.m. So if you guys haven't been there and you're close to uh, my store, make sure you go in because everything is 60% off because I'm moving my Beacon location to Long Island, bitches, Huntington, New York. Um, so hopefully I can get in there soon and start renovating and get it ready in time for uh, November. So I'm going to be a busy beaver, bitches, but um, I'm closing Beacon Sunday, 4 p.m., 60% off everything. So go there, and um, I love you, Beacon. Thanks for having me. Mwah.
That was very sweet. I can't find the way. Was this a joke? Was this an April Fool's joke? Yeah, I don't think it's coming back right now. Release date. Shit, I have cameos. Do them right now. Um, some hot news. Um, Good Morning America I was watching yesterday. And Dancing Oh, look with- at you watching the news. Dancing with the Stars season 13. Cast mm-hmm. And they are. How do you fit? How do you feel about Jamie Lynn Spears, bitch? Excited about Jamie Lynn. Supermodel Tyson Beckford with partner Jenna Johnson. Marvel star. I swore he did that show before. I think he hosted it, maybe. Well, he's still so handsome. At Marvel star. I can't pronounce that. Exoclatia Gomez, partner with Val. How I Met Your Mother star, Allison Hannigan. Also stuck the flute in my pussy with our friend, Sasha Marie Farber. <gasps> so excited for this one. I remember, you remember her from um, American Pie. Yeah, and Buffy. She's I, she's an iconic '90s actress. I I'm so excited for him. So we should definitely go. To, if we're in LA, we should definitely try to go meet her when she's dancing with Sasha. When are we gonna be in LA, bitch? I don't know. Maybe we can go promote something. Social media and reality star Harry Harry Jowsey with partner Riley Arnold. He's hot and he has a big dick. He's he's a he's, a, he's bisexual. A bisexual. Yeah, he's from Too Hot to Handle. He's bisexual. Had sex with um Nikita, Nikita Dragon. Oh, uh, okay. So I think I, mean, I don't know if he just likes trans girls, but he likes um he's open for anything, I think, and he's hot. Okay. That's the threat charity Lawson with partner Artem. I don't know who that is. Um Vanderpump rules Ariana Maddox with partner Pat. Oh, so she's taking her five minutes and running with a bitch. Totally. Yeah, because you know, as we know, if you don't know, she got yeah. cheated by that she guy. She definitely made over like two million with this scandal. Yeah. So you know, Ariana Maddox, her boyfriend cheated on her on Vanderpump Rules, and now she's going to be uh, dancing with the star. Grammy winning for- Jason Mraz with partner Daniela. Daniela. He's a he's a singer. Jason Mraz, yeah, he sounds like he he probably sings like do 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 do. No, back in the day, he was like a really popular singer. NFL star Adrian Peterson with partner Britt Stewart. Know who that, don't know that is? Lily from Vine with Brandon Armstrong. Love her. Oh my God, Romy Michelle's working there. I know. Servino, how fun. If they Literally don't really such a fun cast. They don't do the dance from from the whole, from high school reunion when they when they, when they go um time after time when you're lost. You yes. Know. They roll them if they don't do that dance. For, oh, she's uh, they're 100% doing that dance. Has to. I get goosebumps. Look. No, yeah, they're doing that. Oh, excited. I have to watch. Jamie Lynn actress. It says actress Jamie Lynn Spears with Alan Burns. Okay. Jamie Lynn, mom. Everyone, everyone's like, I'm not going to watch a show because Jamie Lynn's on it. No, I'm going to watch Jamie Lynn's on it. Um, I just don't know. I mean, when when is the right time as a, as a, as a as a daughter of, or sister of Britney Spears to like come out? Britney's going to always be wilding out. She's always going to be shaking her ass with her titties out on a pole in the middle of the living room. But it's not even that. They had a scandal together. Britney it's, said Britney did this whole thing how um that her sister knew everything. She never tried to help her. She just let it all happen. Let her get abused and all this stuff. That's why people don't like her. Imagine Britney comes and sits front row. <gasps> bitch, I would die. They can't pay her enough to do that. Um, think she's gonna do like a work bitch or something? You did that. She can't. I did work bitch on, on Dancing with the Stars. Yeah. Um, who else is on there? Real estate mogul. You saw that? I know. What mm-hmm. thirsty fuck? So I feel like they always need to have like a housewife or something. So the fact that they have him, I'm excited to see him. Kyle Kardashian, I'm sorry, Kyle Richards' husband, a strange husband. They're not they're Mauricio. Not- Mauricio, partner, and she's dancing with Emma Slater. Um, he, they're not divorced. They're just kind of um, separated. Wow. I'm excited. He's hot. I mean, he's probably going to be like very like sexy. No, but- and he's very nice. I feel like we've met him a few times. I'm excited for him. He, this is, this is good. And I feel like he's he's not going to be terrible. I feel like he's going to be like a classy dancer. But Emma is the ex of our friend. Yes. Oh, do you think they're going to flirt? No. Good. Comedian, they're still married. Comedian and actor Matt Walsh with P- Coco and the Brady Bunch star Mary Williams. Oh, fuck him. He threw me off chopped. <gasps> oh, yeah. Um, we're not voting for him. Nobody vote for him. How was that his old ass not going on? Is he like 75 years old? They always have like an old, old person. That's going to be me when I finally become a real star. I know. When you finally make it, you're going to be 80 and I'm dancing with the stars. Well, no, because before that, if, once my boyfriend leaves me for because I'm constantly on my bullshit, I'm going to go on The Golden Bachelor. 
He's definitely not going to believe uh, leave you. Oh, I'm good. I don't really, I want to break his leg so he can't leave. <gasps> Can we? Yes, let's do it. Let's let's um let's do something uh, mischievous this weekend. Well, I told Gianni because like I'm going over my will and stuff and like trying to get everything done to so, like update it and you know just like God forbid something happens and I told him when I die you can't go anywhere like you have to be alone. I told him I would make a sex doll of myself so then he'd be like fine with doing that. Um, and then I would leave him like a magazine of nudes, and um, I told him he can't. <laughs> He can't be with anyone else, or I'm gonna come back and haunt his ass. I'll make sure he inst- instills it. I'll be on watch. So I'll be living in the house. No, be- I want you to actually break his legs and then keep him, you keep left- him here. I'll be living yeah. in the- left for me, so he's gonna be the, my 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 garden boy. No, yeah, he's not going anywhere. Do all your kids get equal parts of the money, or do I get the most? No, you get the most. You you basically get ninety percent of it. Wait, Sissy is um as as uh, um Giselle Bunchin just called. She said she's uh, she's taking all her jobs. Sissy's a model. Oh, she's a, a published model. Did you see I was sitting by um one of the pussycat dolls? Yeah, don't show. Oh, wish- oh my gosh, she was so nice. I know. I have to. I'm gonna text you what she said. Today's episode is sponsored by Acorns. Acorns helps you and your kids save and invest. And the best part, Mama, is there's no expertise required. Investments are automatically put into diversified portfolios based on your risk tolerance. Acorns even has exclusive financial education content for your whole family. So just not you, but your kids of any age, you can start investing while they're young and get them into like, you know, a habit of saving money and doing the right thing. Um, I know Sissy and you were talking about, you know, about getting our own bank account and things like that. No, yeah. So I did this for my kids um, because I've been trying to invest for them and like get all these accounts for them. So I was like, oh my God, Acorns, obsessed with this. And it's easy to get started. Super easy. I just set my contributions to deposit automatically on a monthly basis. And it's been fun to see the potential growth over time. The sooner you start investing, the more chance your money has to grow over time, mamas. From Acorns, Mighty Oaks do grow. Head to acorns.com slash snooky to download Acorns and start saving and investing for your future today. That's acorns.com, A-C-O-R-N-S dot com slash snooky to download Acorns and start saving and investing your future today. Paid testimonial and may not be representative of all clients. Compensation provides an incentive to positively promote Acorns. View important disclosures at acorns.com forward slash snooky. Investment advisory services offered by Acorns Advisors, LLC, an SEC registered investment advisor. Brokerage services provided by Acorn Securities, LLC, an SEC registered broker dealer and member FINRA SIPC. For more information, visit acorns.com. Um, but she was so nice and Sissy killed it. She was supposed to do my pants spring and they both bitched out. And I'm like, come on, that would have been amazing. But um, she ran that runway and she killed it, bitch. And can we talk about the VMAs? Because I couldn't go because we were filming for Jersey. And then by the time I got back and I didn't have anything to wear, it just it wasn't working. But in sync was fucking I- there. I ran into in sync and they just presented an award. They didn't perform, but they are releasing a new song together. It's been over 20 years, or it's been over 30 years. Um, and they, they have a new song coming out on the new um, the new Troll soundtrack. They haven't been on the VMA stage for over 20 years. When they were just kids, they won Best Pop Video by, for Bye Bye Bye. It was our first VMA. And it meant the no, world- they were at the VMAs, um, I think, like 10 years ago. They performed. And I was screaming. I was there, I think. Oh, did you see the picture I sent you? The, fa- the red carpet was wild. People yeah, the were, red carpet was crazy, and everyone was twerking and showing their ass. I can't believe the fashion. Everyone's wearing see-through is the thing in the moment right now. So if you're going out to an event, we're just wear pantyhose. Let's cut up some pantyhose and wear them as an outfit. Bianca Sensory is all over Rome and Italy wearing her snurb out with um t- pantyhose on. Everyone's just wearing pantyhose as costumes. And then if, they, if you see your snurb out, they just put um, a little piece of tape on it. That's the fashion. I feel like that's so 90s. Is. everything's old but how does that how does that piece of tape stick to her snurb now i know that she doesn't have hair on her snurb obviously because i can see but when she has well, to imagine go, pulling that shit off that must hurt it's a pity does she have to like untape her snurb oh yeah she probably didn't pee maybe she put panties she on. probably didn't pee at all she made sure not to drink or eat but even though but even so even even if a girl's not sweaty even so and it has natural moisture that it secretes out. Does wouldn't wouldn't that that fuck up? Ew, the, moist. The tape, like if she got well, wet. Yeah, she definitely probably got a yeast infection for sure. 
you got to let that thing breathe. I know. Disgusting. So yeah, the VMAs was nice. Um, NSYNC was there. That's all I care about. And I really hope they go on tour. I'm like, I'm trying to petition for it because bitch, I would die. My favorite boy band group of all time. I love Backstreet Boys. I love 98 Degrees. But bitch, NSYNC was like top tier for me. So if they ever went on tour, I'm fucking, I'm dying. I would go too, but I don't think that Chris Kirkpatrick can keep up. Who's the big one? Joey Fatone could keep up. He's not big. Um, so this weekend's gonna be Liddy, 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 Liddy. Um, anything else I need to watch? Oh, I watched Truman. Have you watched the Truman Show? Yes. I've never watched him my life, and I only got to the part where he's just finding out people know about him, and he's freaking out, trying to run away from the run away from the, the authority. Oh yeah, I feel like it's my life sometimes. Yeah. Wait, does this this looks I, so much? Am like... I being recorded? Are you mic'd? Are you mic'd? I might. This looks like a confessional. Are you mic'd? True story. Um. No, I'm not. I'm not Mike. Um, what else do I want to tell you? Uh, what's your phone? What, I tell me. What are you upset? What snack are you obsessed with this week? Before we let's do obsessions, then I'll close it out. What are you obsessed with this week? What snack have you been snacking on? Snap. Oh, uh, my Gigi crackers again. I, I yeah, I've been doing uh, the pizzas again because I'm I really I'm really trying to like not feel full and like you know eating like a freaking cow. So I really, um, you know, with walking and everything, I just want to like get back to it. So yeah, GG crackers. And I do like a little sauce, a little cheese. And I have my little GG uh, pizza treats. Four of them. But that's how many you're supposed to have. Yeah, four. Four of them. So GG crackers, GG Scandinavian fiber crisp. You can get them on Amazon. Mine is Kirkland apple. Yeah. I showed you this earlier. Snacking on this. And Angela my, loves that. My other snack I'm like, literally obsessed with. Have I ever had a cotton candy grape? No, they're delicious. Next time you see them at Whole Foods, they just cr they crossbreed two different grapes. They're, they're non GMO. They're just like two different grapes. They mix together like a white and a red, and it makes mm -hmm. a grape that tastes like cotton candy. Cotton candy grapes. Also, there's a lemon hummus by Ithaca. I think it's called the company called Ithaca. Ithaca. You're gonna have to try this hummus. It is like otherworld. I think it's like spinach and artichoke. No, what is? Hold on. I you put it on your charcuterie board for this weekend. With everyone, this Ithaca hummus. I want to get this thing right so they can send it to me. Here it is. I T H A C A. It's the lemon and lemon um and dill hummus. Lemon, lemon and dill. And look at the picture. What the fuck is this? Google. It's this one. See? Yes. Oh that, yeah, that's good. Ithka, it's they have all different flavors. Yeah, yeah. It's the best hummus I've ever had. Ithka hummus, I T H X C A. Lemon dill. I do that with cucumber slices, and I literally feel like I'm eating a spa. It is so refreshing and so yummy. Um, my show is going to be The Truman Show. I've been watching it. And then mm -hmm. household item. What have I been doing with household item? Oh, Febreze. I just love Febreze. I love Febreze spray. I use it for everything. Wrinkle release. Mm. Febreze, um, the one for the. For the um, the sheets are down to your wrinkle release. Any of those wrinkle releases I use every day. Because I, I can't yeah. put an ironing board out. I don't have an ironing board. Um, mm -hmm. and I don't have anything like that. Um, and then a beauty product. Oh, my favorite new foundation. I'm wearing it today. This is the Patrick Ta um, Skin Foundation. It comes with a powder and a, a powder and a finish. I want to use it on you. Queen. That. And then my Patrick Oh, Ta you know what I'm obsessed with? Patrick Ta palette. I got it on Amazon, um, and I'm sure you can get it like drugstores. It's the uh, blush stick. Who makes it's it? It's on the go, on the go blush. Pixie? Is it green? Is it? Is it green? Oh, yes. Yep, it's from Pixie. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with it. Have so it. I've been like, I don't know why, but I've been into like, you know, just doing like a little uh, foundation, whatever, blush, and then mascara, and that's it. Like to, like to look alive, feel alive, and, um, I did the blush and I was like, oh my God, I love this. Yeah. But Pixie blush sticks. I love a blush stick. So we're here to hear first. And also yeah. love Thrive Cosmetics uh, mascara. That's my favorite kind of mascara. Um, Same. Um, well, our time here is done. Unfortunately, the studio studio manager is letting me know that my time in this room is done, but I wanted to thank mm -hmm. all of you for coming. Um, if you want to see a good comedy show this fall, I'm going to be going on tour. So please buy tickets to my show. Go to my Instagram, go to my link tree, link tree slash Joey Camasta. And buy tickets. Uh, Philly is sold out and Chicago is sold out. Sorry, Boston and Chicago are sold out. So I need to sell. Are you famous? 
Tampa, New Jersey. Um, Snooki Nicole's gonna be at the New Jersey show. She's gonna be in the parking lot signing autographs. Um, totally with the Snooki Shock. And Philly, we have to sell out still. So go to uh, my link tree. Um, buy tickets, and um, uh, that'd be great. Really appreciated. Thank you. Um, Subi, your book on cameos now still. Yeah, book us on Cameo. I just did a ton of cameos. And remember, my Beacon location is closing this Sunday, 4 p.m. So make sure you guys go and check it out. 60% off the whole store. And then Seaside, I'm only open Thursday to Sunday now because it's the fall season, bitches. And Madison's still open um, and working on Long Island Huntington. So if you guys want to work for me in Huntington, uh, New York, send the resumes to gina.thesnookyshop.com because we're hiring our team right now. So excited. Um, and yeah, grab your messy mama for the weekend because messy mama, it's time for fall. You need your, um, your raunchy red to get ready. You heard your first one. Ladies, thank you for joining us. I'd like to pull, uh, put your chin up, raise a glass and pull your panties down. Have the best weekend. We'll see you next time on It's Happening with Sookie and Joey. The hottest. Yes, bitches. It's happening. It's happening.